G'day. The wives and girlfriends of the current crop of 2020 F1 drivers are a diverse bunch. These are strong, independent women from a variety of countries. And in just a moment, I'll introduce you to them. My wives and girlfriends video of 2019 has been my biggest video by a mile. So I understand there's huge interest in this group of people. In today's video, you'll meet all of the wives and girlfriends of the current crop of F1 drivers. Let me say too, that last year's video dated very quickly. I think it was three or four weeks after it was put up, Charles Leclerc and Giada Gianni broke up. Uh, a short time later, we had Valtteri Bottas and his wife Amelia part company, as did Daniil Kvyat and his partner Kelly Piquet. That was in 2019. Earlier this year, Pierre and Kate uh, ended up going their separate ways, as did Max and Delara. Certainly it's no easy feat holding down a relationship when you're away from each other for so long. Over the last week or so, I've been lucky enough to have a chat with a number of these wives and girlfriends, gathering information for this video. And I know you're going to ask, who's my favourite? I'll tell you at the end of the video. Let's kick it off with Charles Leclerc and Charlotte Cine. Charlotte was born in September 1999. That makes her 21 years of age. She was raised in Monaco. She's studying architecture at the moment. Thing is, she's known Charles for a good five years. In fact, uh, her family lived next door to Charles's mum, Pascal, in Monaco. This year, she's been to five races and will end up probably at another three, she tells me. The first race was in Melbourne. I photographed her in the paddock. This was the first time I think I'd met her. I missed her at testing. Uh, as she admits, it was a little delicate coming into the paddock because she'd never really endured that sort of attention before of the world's media. But as the weekend wore on, she got more comfortable with the media and didn't mind the fact that she was photographed at the front of the hospitality suite just doing her study. Charlotte has quite a creative streak. She's uh, big into drawing and talented. She's done music for the past 14 years. She plays piano, as Charles does. She's sung opera. She's also sporty. Her first language is French, but she also speaks beautiful English and, of course, Italian, being in Monaco, and a little bit of Russian. About a year ago, she had a mere 3,000 followers on Instagram. Today, that figure's bumped up to well over 115,000. She's popular. Next up, probably the queen of the F1 drivers' wives and girlfriends, Mintu Raikkonen wife of Kimmy. Born in 1986, she met Kimmy while she was working as an airline cabin crew attendant. In January 2015, they had Robin, married in August of 2016, and in May of 2017, Mintu had Rihanna. She comes along to a number of races a year. I've photographed her often at the track, very stylish, and almost always decked out in beautiful kit. On Instagram, she has 189,000 followers and is also the brand ambassador for Goo Goo Kids Fashion, along with Ness Cafe. That's Finland's Mintu Raikkonen. Esteban Ocon is back in F1 this year, and I'd like to introduce you to his girlfriend, Elena Berry. Elena is 22 years old. She was born in Turin in Italy. She then went to Paris to start university, and now is studying business management in Geneva. But where did she meet Esteban? How did that happen? Well, she was happy to tell me about that. It was in Valencia, Spain, August of 2017. And in fact, this is the first photo of the pair of them together. She didn't know him. She had no idea he was a Formula One driver. Uh, now, Elena openly admits that she is really passionate about racing. I met her, interesting circumstances, Singapore GP. I'd taken these photos in the uh, earlier part of the day and I was at Marina Bay Sands just about to get into a lift. She got out of the lift and walked past me and I stopped and thought, I reckon that's Elena. So, and I didn't know her name at that time. So I turned around and said, hi, excuse me, were you at the track today? And she said, yes. And I said, are you Esteban's girlfriend? She says, yes. Oh, okay, I'm Kim, I took some good pics. And since then we've communicated and I've shot her at a couple of other races as well. She doesn't get to that many, and of course this year will be very few indeed. She told me that she and Esteban spent quarantine in France, mostly in their pajamas, just killing time. She's fluent in Italian, English, and French. That's Elena Berry. A reminder too that you can get my F1 photo books by heading online to kimillman.com. I'll post them almost anywhere in the world. Racing Point driver Sergio Perez is married to Carola Martinez. So where did Carola and Sergio meet? In a disco at San Miguel de Agenda. She and he live in Guadalajara, Mexico, and in December 2017 they had their first child, Sergio Perez Jr. They were married shortly after in June 2018, then they had their second child, Carlotta, in September of 2019. I've only seen her at a couple of races over the years, including in Abu Dhabi here and in Monaco. But she is on Instagram and you'll find her here. 
While I was researching for this video, I, I didn't realize that Nicholas Satifi had a girlfriend, but I got onto a couple of the uh, F1 WAG sites on Instagram who know a lot more than me, and they said, oh yes, definitely, he's going out with Sandra Dziwiszek from Poland. And uh, the reason they knew that, because they haven't seen his picture on Sandra's Instagram page, but they had actually heard his voice in the background of a video she'd posted. So uh, I contacted Sandra and she was most open about it and said, look, yeah, we've been keeping it very low key, but it's out there a little bit now. So she was happy to share with me a few things about her past. She's 26, lives in London, originally from Poland. She's a lawyer by profession. She's completed her undergraduate law degree, Master of Laws and LPC in London. However, other than working in the law throughout the years, she's worked as a model, which she's currently doing now. And interestingly, she used to be a professional pole vaulter. So now you know a little bit more about Sandra Jivishrek. Tiffany Cromwell is an Adelaidean like me. Tiffany goes out with Valtteri Bottas. She's a very handy cyclist. She's professional. She actually came through the South Australian Sports Institute. She's raced as a junior in Australia. She's competed in junior world titles. And then at some point she headed to the US to race there. Now she races with the Canyon Tram team. She's done Tour Italia 12 times. She's competed in world championships and is highly regarded in the cycling arena. How did these two meet? Well, they met through mutual friends in Monaco. Their common interest? cycling. She's lived in Monaco and the south of France since 2011. This year though she's been the most visible wife or girlfriend at the track. She's been to six of the first eight races and that's because her season hadn't started at that point. So I asked her what type of cyclist Valtteri was and she said look he's strong and he's improved but endurance is not his strength. And she did admit that she does get slightly nervous watching the races, as I think all of the wives and girlfriends do, although a couple of them said, look, it's, it's a reasonably safe sport. They can have a reasonably big shunt and they still walk out of it fine. Going from a professional cyclist to a professional golfer, this is Lily He, Alex Albon's girlfriend. She was born in 1999. She's a pro golfer on the LPGA Tour. In her second season here in 2020, she was born in Chengdu, China. She grew up in Canada and now she lives in Los Angeles. She had an ordinary 2019 season, had to go back to qualifying school where she shone, so she's back on the tour in this disrupted year. But how did these two meet? Well, they discovered each other on social media. They were friends for a couple of months before they met, and she admits that she knew nothing about F1 until she started talking to Alex. I met her in Abu Dhabi. She was walking down the paddock and I had no idea who she was. She had these lovely um, knee-high boots on, I think. So I took these uh, quick pictures of her and mentioned that I'd be um, probably using them in Women of the Paddock and thought nothing of it. I didn't even get her name, I don't think. A little later on that afternoon, I get a text message from Alex just simply asking me, look, can you please not use those pictures because of any details his reason? I thought, oh, okay. So I've pretty much kept them in here in my uh, Lightroom catalogue in my computer until now. So you're seeing these for the first time. So how hard is it for a professional golfer and a professional racing driver to have a relationship? Well, it's very tricky. Often their calendars simply don't match, although they've had some time away with each other and enjoyed each other's company, but in general, it's a long distance relationship. Oh, and by the way, Lily has the most followers on Instagram of any of the WAGs in this particular video, over 322,000. And that's not because of Alex, that's because of her professional golf career. And just quickly allow me to thank Canity.com. If you're in business and would like to sharpen up your cruise skills, head to Canity.com, the world's best online staff training platform. Hundreds of short, sharp training videos covering everything from handling angry customers to staying safe under COVID-19. Canity.com. If you watched last year's video, you probably know already that Nico Hulkenberg's girlfriend is Egla Ruschkita. Egle is tall, she's funny, she's stylish, she's a fashion designer, she's the crochet girl. She produces these beautiful crochet garments. And in fact, if you go back to July, I think it was in 2015, it was right after Nico had won Le Mans, she'd um, sold some crochet dresses to some friends of Nico's, a couple of Australian girls to be uh, exact. And they'd bought this dress from her, she'd sent it across and she added her business card to her purchase Next day, she receives a message from Nico Hulkenberg. She didn't know him from a bar of soap, but she knows him well now. But getting a shot of the two of them together in the paddock 
was tricky. I got this shot of them in 2018 in Abu Dhabi. Then I got a couple of others, but unfortunately, every time I'd get close to getting a shot of the two of them, they'd split, he'd walk in front of her, and he just wouldn't comply, except for the last race of 2019, when he was leaving Renault. And he was more than happy as he came in on one of the days to walk with her, even held her hand, gave her a little cuddle, and thankfully, I got those picks, I think, pretty much almost all to myself. But after the race, I positioned myself at the back of the FAI garage, and I got these beautiful shots of Nico and Egle having a hug post-race. I do hope that Nico gets a drive in 2021 because I think we deserve to see him and Egle back in the paddock. I'll give you a quick introduction to Kevin Magnuson's wife, Louise. This is her. The couple got married in August of 2019 after they'd known each other for about five years. And that is about all I can tell you about Louise. And really, I only ever got two or three shots of her. And unfortunately, these are them of the back of her head as she dropped Kevin off to the German Grand Prix in 2019. Next up, Carlos Sainz's girlfriend, Isabel Hernaiz. She's from Madrid. There's very little that I know about her. In fact, I don't think I've even seen her at the track, although I know she's been because on her Instagram account, you'll find a pic or two of her at one of the particular races. She's from Madrid. She holds a Bachelor of Bilingual Journalism at Carlos III University. She stayed in Madrid when Carlos went to London or England. Um, obviously he had to go there because that's where uh, McLaren is based. So she's now having a long distance relationship with him, but they catch up uh, from time to time. She works in fashion as a press officer. Recently, she did a modeling shoot in a Spanish fashion magazine in November last year. Sensational looking outfit, this one. And how did they meet? I can't tell you. I just got no idea. Like I've got no idea how George Russell met his girlfriend, Carmen Montero Munt. In fact, uh, if you have a look at uh, Carmen's Instagram page, it says here, business management and finance. And that's it. And really, apart from one picture I think I found on uh, Carmen's Instagram page, that's about all I can tell you. I can tell you a lot more though about Marion Grosjean, Roman Grosjean's wife. For a start, Marion is an anagram of Roman. She's 38, she lives with Roman and their three children in Switzerland. She was born in Saint-Étienne in France, studied journalism in Paris. She's been an F1 TV presenter for 15 years. And you'll see her on TF1 in France. And I've seen her at the track a few times. She doesn't go to all the races, but uh, I've certainly seen her at a handful. They got married on the 27th of June, 2012, having met in 2008. And they have two sons, and a daughter. And interestingly, she does the lottery presentation on French TV. Does Antonio Giovinazzi have a girlfriend? Well, I didn't think so. In fact, I was all the way through editing when somebody sent me a message saying, hey, Antonio's just mentioned that he and his girlfriend had dinner in Monaco the other night. I thought, oh. So I did some detective work, and indeed, he does have a girlfriend. She's Antonella Marolino. She's in her early 20s. She went to a function last year in Monaco at the Sun Casino with Antonio, which was a black tie affair. But apart from that, there's very little else to be found. Both of them keep the relationship very low key. There are only five drivers in this current 21 who are married. And one of them is Sebastian Vettel, married to Hannah. How did they meet? They've been friends since childhood. They were married in a private ceremony in early 2019. I've never seen Hannah in the paddock. I don't even know whether she comes to the races. Certainly none of my other photography mates have seen her in the paddock. And if you have a look on the internet, you'll find very few photos of Hannah at all. Let's jump to Lewis Hamilton now. Obviously not married, but does he have a girlfriend? I've never seen him with one at the track, although I did see uh, back in the Russian Grand Prix, he invited Vicky Odinkova, who was a prominent model in Europe, and there was some talk that they were going out, but I'm not sure whether that's any more than just a bit of gossip. So I'm gonna put Lewis down as a single with all of these drivers, Lando Norris, Lance Stroll, and Daniel Ricciardo. I've never seen any of them at the track with a girlfriend. There's no doubt it's tough carrying on a relationship when you're away from your partner for up to 200 nights a season. And sure, some of the wives and girlfriends pop along to various races, but for most of the year, the couples are separated. They say that behind every great man, there's a great woman. Well, there's a bunch of great women there, strong and independent types, standing behind their boyfriends and their husbands. And I did say at the start that I'd tell you my favorite wife or girlfriend. Well, hands down, without a doubt, it is Remember, if you've liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and if you hit the bell button, you'll get notified when I release new videos. You can find all of my F1 driver books at kimillman.com. 
there's Kimmy Räikkönen behind me. You'll find all of my pictures at ProStarPics.com and for my best pictures all through the week and on race weekends, if and when we ever get invited back to the paddock, you'll get that on Instagram at Kim Ullman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. I wish I'd written these things down.